wow 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 this is everything you need to know about konza city hey beautiful people how are you doing today welcome to yet another episode this is all things africa and i'm your host dolphin so today as you can see i've taken you all the way to konza technology city now known as konza technopolis and for those who don't know about this project this is one of the major projects of Kenya's Vision 2030 Economic Development Portfolios. So Konza City will be world-class smart city powered by a thriving ICT sector, reliable infrastructure, and business-friendly governance system. In this video, I'll be using these beautiful footages courtesy of ICT Authority Kenya and uh, Champs Media. So I'll be using these footages to show you the current situation at the ground versus the artistic impression. So I want the whole world to see what Konza City will look like when it's done. So stay tuned, watch this video to the end and if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing to my channel, watch my other videos and don't forget to give me a sweet comment down there. So stay tuned and let's see. In 2011, the government of Kenya announced its vision for Konza, a new technology city to capitalize on the country's fast-growing economy, its booming technology sector, and its well-educated population. With an emphasis on sustainable living and cutting-edge design, the vision for Konza has already generated considerable interest from investors and multinational companies. Meanwhile, the media has started talking about Africa's Silicon Savannah and how Kenya may one day rival India and China as a high-technology giant. So far, it has uh, been covered extremely very well, both uh, within Kenya and within East Africa and even Africa in general. And uh, truly, it is seen as the Silicon City of Africa and everybody agrees that the kind of facilities that are being developed within the ICT city can attract any international investor. Progress has been swift. Last year, the government commissioned international designers to draw up a master plan showing how the city would develop. This is now being translated into a local physical development plan for Konza which will be broken down into smaller action plans so that construction can begin. The government has selected a master delivery partner to work with it on design and development. This is a consortium made up of architects, urban designers and property developers who have worked in major international cities. The goals are ambitious. Kenya is building a city that combines sustainability, architectural excellence and cutting-edge technology from scratch. Konza will be built using a public-private partnership. The government will build the infrastructure necessary to connect the city to Kenya and the rest of the world. So far, a number of international and local companies have expressed interest in investing in Konza, as have many global names in retail, leisure and culture. Uh, the Konza complex, taken in its totality, has the entire infrastructure in terms of commercial offices, in terms of uh, science parks, in terms of uh, accommodation for the family, and it has everything that uh, any investor would be looking for. Konza will be designed from the ground up and designed to be a great place to live, a great place to work, and a great place to do business. Kenya, as a country, is ready and open for business. It's expected to become home to some of Africa's most desirable real estate. The vision of a silicon savannah is fast becoming a reality, and now is the time to get involved. <laughs> 